Well, I'm playing with the, uh, working on playing with, whatever, the uh, Delrin bushings for the uh, upper control arm. Because uh, I still need to make the Delrin, these are urethane, I need to make the Delrin washers. Now, the original ones, the just the prototypes here, I drilled them out to 5 eighths. And it's a little too tight. Um, I want to make sure they can kind of move around a little bit. And, uh, not... I just want them to slip a little bit, okay? That way they can either slide on the metal or slide on the urethane. Uh, the way they're stuck right now, they will slide on the urethane because the urethane will be rotating on the metal too. Uh, but the metal that goes up against the side here from the upper control arm, I kind of wanted to have a choice. So I need to make them 150 thousandths wide uh, to fill the gap properly. And what I did was, I <laughs> turns out that uh, an old box of drill bits that uh, uh, my dad had left over from when I was a boy and he had a craftsman metal lathe. Um, he gave them to me years ago when I got this lathe and because he hasn't had his since I was a kid but uh, anyway it, I was digging through and it turned out that I had a 41 64th. Now that's like an M2 taper and an MT, M3, MT3 adapter uh, something like that. Uh, yeah, and it says right there, two to three. Um, uh, anywho, that worked out perfect. So that's actually the only drill bit between this and uh, five ace, at least on the list I have, is uh, sixteen millimeter. So perfect. Anyway, so what I did was I put these, I cut these off at four inches on the bandsaw, just so I could have them smaller to be able to work with them on the little CNC lathe, okay? Uh, and then I went, I drilled about to 5 eighths, and then I decided, hey, I found that bit and everything. So, you know, it just, you know, some will be a little tighter than others kind of thing, but uh, that's, that's exactly what I want. So anyway, that's where we're sitting with that. Now to... Uh, go put them in the little CNC lathe and see how much flex there is if I try to slice off 150 thou piece over and over again until I get down you know to the end here kind of thing. I've been sitting on this for a while now. I need to go ahead and get some of these done. So, because a pair of these are going to Dave Patton uh, with the Zed control arms I did. They're still sitting here waiting. I have a six jaw to use on stuff like this where I'm worried about it squishing. I still haven't set up the backing plate for it though. We'll see how much run out it has, how flexible it is. Ooh, that's not bad for a... Uh... Not bad at all for that. Okay. Um... Now this cutoff tool would be the one I'd really like to use, nice and thin and small. I'd have to grind away more of the face here in order to uh, get it to work. Hey, we're pretty close to making it. I think I'll just use the other one. I've got more of the Delrin coming. What the heck was it? 34 cents an inch? So I'm really not too worried about it, you know, because I'm going to get several out of an inch kind of thing. So, So we will need to have it start one or two early kind of thing just so it, it trims one off there since uh, I cut them on the bandsaw and I faced them so I could get square with the chuck here but I didn't uh, I didn't pay any attention to the exact length so I was gonna end up using this um, cutoff tool okay would have worked fine but it's it's a little on the wide side from what I wanted to use um, you know at least it's not near as wide as the other one I was using, but anyway, I wanted to use one of these minis, okay? Uh, but the challenge was, and I, I probably showed it one of the other videos, or previous or whatever, is, uh, you know, going up and, and touching on it, that's all the depth I've got. And I was going, man, so I'm going to have to use the other one, but this is a lot thinner, it's a lot sharper. Uh, and then it dawned on me, because of the taper at each end of the of the bushing here, I could actually go down quite a bit. 
So that factored in. Um, I think I'll be taking off just enough to be able to cut it with this. So I'm going to give it a try. And it basically threw them all over the place. Like, there's a few there, but I gotta dig the rest of them out. So, what was that, 13, 14, or 15? Oh, there's another one, so I'm pretty sure we're at 15. And I think that's all we're gonna get because, uh, I'll take that back, there's another one. I feel like Brad, but I'm not digging through, uh, I'm not digging through, uh, titanium. So I set it out to four inches. I just realized I want to go ahead and trim most of this off so that I don't have to deal with the chips on the little lathe quite so much for the OD turn. So let's see how well this does on an OD turn. So I want to take it down to, uh, let's go 1050. We'll leave 50 thou on there for the other one. I just touched it up against over here and called it 1.13.
you know, so if I could gang tool this and have, you know, drill bit come in, punch out the center, you know, go a couple, go an inch deep kind of thing, and then cut, 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 and then punch some more and cut, cut, cut. Uh, but, you know, it, it goes fast enough, and I don't expect this to be a huge, uh, there to be a huge demand, so now let's see if I can find them all. I know one went under the bench, hit my belly, rolled down to the floor, and uh, went under there. Oh, I made you say underwear. Oh, oh. Okay, let's see here. It'd be nice to keep them cleaner than that for sure, so. It does look like I am going to have to. Uh, Do a little hand deburring there. <laughs> oh yeah. That's all I'm fine with it coming off. It, there's no there's no particular play. I mean there's just there's a little bit, but uh I'm fine with that. So there's gonna be just a little bit of squish there. Uh because, uh, well, let's see here. Let's just pop these two off. Okay, I got uh, 1.755, roughly 1.75. Yeah, 5.5, five, 5.4. Five, five, right around in there. And then with these, oh, let's see how much these... Uh, ooh, I'm a thou thick. Yeah, I'm 1.15. Uh, so I could, I'm not going to go in and take a thou off each measurement, that's for sure. Wow, nice. Okay, 